Hello my fellow creepers and things that go bump in the night. Welcome back to yet another episode of Creature of the Night. I'm your host, Toxin, your friendly neighborhood sinner. You should know what to do by now. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell to let you know every time I upload so you can keep up to date with me, guys. You should know this. Let's get into it. Um, So this is the one, uh, I believe my grandmother would actually really love this. She had a thing for uh, alligators and maybe I'll review the first alligator movie she ever saw me, Alligator. If you've seen it, you know it's a tearjerker, crazy, crazy movie, but let's uh, dive right into this one. Uh, what makes this one creepy or makes it scary for me is the fact that it could possibly happen. It, there could be a national, a natural disaster that happens and floods, you know, one of the coasting states and could bring about this incident. And I'm speaking, of course, of Crawl. To go now. I'm not leaving you here. <laughs> They could be alligators, they could be crocodiles, whatever the hell that is down in Florida, I believe that's where it takes place. Uh, so essentially it's a, uh, we see this, we're introduced to this female who is in college and she's like a swim star, uh, she's on the team and all that, and she's hearing about a hurricane or some kind of a uh, you know, flood that's going to happen down in her hometown, the dad is not answering her calls. Uh, her and her sister are really close, but her and her dad are astray just because I. I guess he just, she just, they really didn't recuperate after losing the mom. He just couldn't handle it. He couldn't really move on. And she couldn't really move on from him not moving on. Like, you know, they were used to be really close. That was his, that was her coach. He, she's the reason why he got in, she got into swimming and she's the star that she is now because of him. So, you know, drifting apart, you know, you could tell as the journey she's driving down there, all the things that are going through her head. It's really difficult for her to make this journey, but it's, it's a must do because he's not answering. And she needs to go check on him. It's not like him to not answer, you know. So once she gets down there, she gets into the house. She sees that the house was supposed to be sold, but I guess he had second thoughts. He never he just try, decided to change his mind and not move on. So that kind of hurts her too, because she's like, I need my dad back, and the only way I'm gonna need, and the only way I'm gonna get him back is if he truly moves on. So this is kind of evidence that he's not really doing his part, you know. Uh, checking in his trailer and then going to the house and seeing that he's actually working on the house. So, okay, like my dad is still stuck where he's at. So, whatever. Uh, calling his phone, seeing where he's at. Turns out he's actually underneath the basement and he's already been attacked. His legs is chewed up. And right at that moment, boom, the flood, uh, a flood hits. A big gigantic wave washes up ashore and floods the town that she was born in. Now, this is what it's kind of unclear to me. I don't know if the alligators were already there nesting. Or it's because of the natural disaster that was happening. They kind of just moved on shore, <coughs> moved on shore. Excuse me, moved on shore and underneath the basement already, and was just basically preparing. Uh, who knows? But it does. The activity does rise and become worse once the flood and once the water rises, of course. So we see that she's trying to help her dad. She's attacked. Uh, sl slowly but surely, the water is rising, and she gets. She she becomes isolated in this house. So it's. It's the fact that she's locked away. She's already having like you know self-identity uh, issues, not knowing what she wants to do in life. She's already having issues with her dad, having issues with being in the house that she grew up with, where she lost her mom. So there's just a lot of mix-up, and of course, obviously the alligators, crocodiles, whatever the hell, whatever the hell they are, um, there that are surrounding them. There's just a lot of issues hitting all at once, and she's. You could tell throughout the movie uh, as she's they're doing survival stuff, trying to get out of the basement, going deeper into the basement to see where they came in, and they actually we actually realize that there is a some kind of chamber that opens up to um, that opens it has a uh, gigantic opening, and that's where they've been nesting, and they have several pipes that lead to the ocean or to like under a dock. So so you know all drains lead back to the ocean. Essentially, that's what's going on. So that's that's how. They got in, that's how they started nesting, and I guess because of the water again, they know they were there already moving their way into the basement, out of the drainage uh, pipes because of the water, or they were just doing it just because they were already getting too big, or they're, you know, they're just moving along, trying to nest somewhere else. It's kind of unclear about that part. But, be, but now for sure that the water is rising in the chamber, they're definitely pushing them more alligators into the basement. So she has to outwit them, she has to outrun them, I think you know it, that. Thank God that we already introduced that she is a like kind of an athletic swimmer. She has skills. Uh, there's several times where she does have to leave the house and she does have to basically swim for her life because she uh, 
across the way there is a gas station and it's actually being robbed showing you know during national disasters you know just different kind like there anything there's always like rioting looting or something some kind of issue that is going on in the world there's al there's always that the underlining issue of what's going on destruction of property looting robbery all this other shit so this is no different people that got stuck or maybe just decided to stay behind to so they can loot and so they can rob uh, they she sees uh, people across the gas station robbing the ATM essentially, and then they are just eaten by alligators as well. So she paddles for her life to get to the boat, which just ends up getting washed back into the house through it from another gigantic wave, sending her right back into the main issue of being hunted down by these uh, these animals. Uh, there's a dog involved in the film too. Thank God the dog makes it. You know, it, I kind of I'm not gonna lie. Anything with babies or or pets i kind of shut off once they are cat attacked or killed or, in, or harmed in some way i kind of i just can't watch it that's like my soft spot i don't know about y'all let me know what y'all soft spots in films like your do's or don'ts in films that you just cannot stand just let just let me know uh, but that's one of my biggest babies and animals they're, just, they're innocent you know and to see them either devoured or taken apart or whatever happens to them it's just it gets to me really really hard so i, I just can't watch it um but you know, as the dad is, her and her dad are continuously being attacked, her being uh, chewed upon as they're making their their way higher. Thank God it's a two-story house so they can just keep going, eventually being isolated and making it to the roof so they can be rescued. Uh, but again, what made it scary for me is the fact that this could happen. A national disaster, you know, a, a national, why do I keep saying national? Natural, natural. Uh, like a tsunami, some kind of hurricane or anything going on that pushes water or any, you know, tornado or anything that could bring about something, you know, that lets animals do what they do, you know, like, it, it is scary, this could happen, you know, this, there has been flooding, there has been incidences where uh, sharks, uh, alligators, crocodiles have been washed up on shore and they, sure, they can swim about freely through the streets that we walk comfortably every day because of the water level and they now we have to deal with this something that we don't usually deal with on a you know a daily basis that that's what made it scary for me uh but a very good movie it did keep me at the edge of my seat and again this is something my grandmother probably would have took me to the theater to go see or i probably would have took her at this point in my life i probably would have took her to see it in the movie theater uh just something that we shared about crocodiles and alligators just and snakes even though she was afraid of them she loved the uh she loved to watch the movies and the condo was one of her favorites so yeah uh, that's definitely why I put it on watched it with my little brothers they loved it I think they actually ended up seeing it before me um, it it was good I think you know I understand CGI has kind of taken over uh, so a lot of the creatures were CGI I wish you know we could have seen more of like the realistic ones that's you know scary to me but I do understand we don't know how big these things could get so to actually show big and terrifying we do have to you know do some editing and show <laughs> what we're scared of every day you know but uh, guys i give it two thumbs up 10 out of 10 for me just because again childhood memories uh the fact that it could actually happen to anybody in the everyday life and just showing that you know don't let your family ties you know family it goes either way i i come from a good family but i met and dated a lot of people where family was kind of like iffy you just ne you just never know what you're going to get but family is family you're always going to be for there for them now if they're going to be there for you, who knows? You know, they could support you in different ways or they could just be one of those people that say they support you but don't really support you. It just depends. Um, but whatever you're going through in life, don't let anything hold you back. Uh, if your family is not on your side, keep going and keep striving and show everybody up. If your family is on your side and you have that support, it just it does help. But at the end, it is all on your shoulders and it's up to you to be successful. I didn't mean to go off all preachy on y'all, but I'm just saying. Just... Food for thought, guys. But like I always say, guys, you know, like, subscribe, please share, share, share my videos. Let me know what you thought about this uh, video. Let me know what you thought about the film, your opinions on the uh, the whole issue. And let me, you know what? I'm going to ask a question. Let me know what kind of creatures you enjoy. I'm a big creature horror fan, so werewolves is my shit. Alligators, snakes, and all that. Uh, spiders, They, I do watch them, but arachnophobia i don't know if y'all seen that review it, that does creep me out too sometimes especially after watching it i just feel them crawling all over me uh, so you know insect creature whatever let me know what kind of creatures y'all are into and what gives you the heebie-jeebies if you want to say uh guys like i always say if you're not sinning you're not having fun beware of the moon guys